Hello, and welcome to another edition of Music Stuff with Spock. Today we're going to look at an extended technique for uh, cymbals, gongs, and other large plate idiophones. And typically, uh, these kind of instruments are played with some kind of a beater, either, either a stick, which has a fairly harsh sound, and, uh, or a mallet, which has a softer sound, or an actual beater. You can get uh, a harmonic by striking the edge, and you can get a nice swishing sound. by drawing it across. And depending on the size of your stick, you can get a variation in tone, as opposed to, this is a chopstick, and then a barbecue skewer. And then there are brushes. But the technique we're gonna be looking at today uh, involves water. Traditionally, it was done with a gong. You would lower a gong into, one person would lower the gong into a vat of water by, while somebody else is playing it. And it, this creates a glissando effect. I haven't done it since, so I'm gonna take a look at that effect. So next thing I have to do is fill this up with some water. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just simply strike this. This is kind of halfway between a gong and a cymbal. It's got a nipple like a gong. But there's not a lot of variation in tone because of its shape. It's somewhat gong-like. Now the theory behind what I'm going to do is when you hit a cymbal or a gong, uh, the vibrations spread out and then inwards and wherever it's vibrating in air, you get a particular sound. And so if we place it in water, then less of it is gonna be vibrating in the air, and that should give us a glissando as I dip it into the water. So here we go. Now where this really becomes neat, where's my bow, is when we get a bow involved. All right, now I want to try something with uh, well, I don't have a suspended cymbal, so I have a cymbal on a stand. I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to start off with a mallet. Put this... Try muting the crown. Okay. Let's try a screech.
And now I've got this, uh, well, it's a busted symbol. Uh, and it has a fairly weird. Sound. So let's see what we can do with this. crash symbol. Get a nice whisper tone on this. And while I'm at it, I thought I'd take a look at a few other idiophones and see if it works with them. This is a triangle. Okay, I don't recommend this one because I'm not sure if it's going to be good for my orchestra bells or not, but... Finally, I have this big jazz ride. 